In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, with two he flew. One called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh of armies. The whole earth is full of his glory. of the threshold shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, Yahweh of armies, One of the seraphim flew to me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin forgiven. I heard the Lord's voice saying, shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. Shazar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head on his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. I saw until thrones were placed, and one who was ancient of days sat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came out from before him. Thousands of thousands ministered to him and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened.
fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Kibar. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. Now it came to pass in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kibar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces, and every one had four wings. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man, and the face of a lion on the right side. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces. And their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. And their whole body, and their backs, and their hands, and their wings were full of eyes round about. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. When they stood, they let down their wings. When they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, a tumultuous noise as the noise of a host. This is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river of Kibar, and I knew that they were the cherubims. And I looked, and behold, four wheels beside the cherubim, one wheel beside one cherub, and another wheel beside another cherub. And the appearance of the wheels was as the look of a chrysolite stone. And they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. As for their rims, they were high and dreadful, and they four had their rims full of eyes round about. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them, and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went. There was the spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up beside them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When they went, they went in their four directions. They didn't turn as they went, but to the place where the head looked, they followed it. And I heard 
the noise of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another, and the noise of the wheels beside them, even the noise of the great rushing. As for the wheels, they were called in my hearing the whirling wheels. In among the wheels between the cherubim were burning coals of fire. The fire went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. Over the head of the living creature there was the likeness of an expanse, like the awesome crystal to look on, stretched forth over their heads above. Above the expanse that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And on the likeness of the throne was a likeness as the appearance of a man on it above. I saw, as it were glowing metal, as the appearance of fire within it round about, from the appearance of his loins and upward. And from the appearance of his loins and downward, I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire, and there was brightness round about him. As the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness around. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard a voice of one that spoke. John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls, who were laden with the seven last plagues, came. And he spoke with me, saying, Come here, I will show you the wife, the Lamb's bride. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Having the glory of God, and her light was like to a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. The city was pure gold, like pure glass. The city had a wall great and high, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper. 
And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardinex, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a chrysoprasus, the eleventh a jacinth, the twelfth an amethyst. The great high wall had twelve gates. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the gates was made of one pearl. And at the gates twelve angels, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. He who spoke with me had for a measure a golden reed to measure the city, its gates, and its walls. The city lies four square, and its length is as great as its breadth. He measured the city with the reed, 12,000 stadia. Its length, breadth, and height are equal. He measured its wall, 144 cubits by the measure of a man, that is, of an angel. He showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of its street. The street of this city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. On this side of the river and on that was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruits, yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb are its temple. The city has no need for the sun, neither of the moon, to shine, for the very glory of God illuminated it, and its lamp is the Lamb. There will be no more night, and they need no lamplight, neither sunlight, for the Lord God will give them light. They will reign forever and ever. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, 
Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give freely to him who is thirsty from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes, I will give him these things. I will be his God, and he will be my son. Blessed are they that wash their robes, that they may have right to the tree of life, and that they should go in by the gates into the city. There will in no way enter into it anything profane, or one who causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. They washed their robes and made them white in the Lamb's blood. Therefore are they before the throne of God. They serve him day and night in his temple. He who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. They will never be hungry, neither thirsty any more. Neither will the sun beat on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd and will guide them to the living springs of waters. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to repay to each man according to his work. The spirit and the bride say, Come. He who hears, let him say, Come. He who is thirsty, let him come. He who desires, let him take the water of life freely. He who testifies these things says, Yes, I come quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I looked and saw a door opened in heaven and the first voice that I heard like a trumpet speaking with me was one saying, come up here and I will show you the things which must happen after this. And immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was in appearance like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow around the throne, in sight like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones. On the thrones were twenty-four elders sitting, dressed in white garments, with crowns of gold on their heads. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like crystal. In the middle of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures full of eyes before and behind. And the first creature was like a lion, and the second creature like a calf, and the third creature had a face as of a man, and the fourth creature was like a flying eagle, 
The four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within. And they have no rest day and night, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was, and who is, and who is to come. When the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and throw their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, the Holy One, to receive the glory, the honor, and the power for you created all things, and because of your desire, they existed and were created. And I saw upon the right hand of him who was sitting upon the throne, a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a great voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose the seals of it? And no one was able in the heaven, nor upon the earth, nor under the earth, to open the scroll, nor to behold it. And I was weeping much, because no one was found worthy to open and to read the scroll, nor to behold it. One of the elders said to me, Don't weep. Behold, the lion who is of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome to open the scroll and to loose the seven seals of it. I saw in the middle of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the middle of the elders a lamb standing as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who was sitting upon the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each one having a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sing a new song, saying, Worthy art thou to take the scroll and to open the seals of it, for you were killed and bought us for God with your blood out of every tribe, language, people, and nation, and made us kings and priests to our God, and we will reign on the earth. And I saw and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. I heard every created thing which is in heaven, on the earth, under the earth, on the sea, and everything in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Amen.